Wave 5 of the Booster Course Pass was announced in the latest Nintendo Direct, revealing one track being squeaky clean sprint, so in the meantime, I wanted to talk about the reason why there will be a Booster Course Pass from Wave 7 to 12. Mario Kart Tour has over 40 retro tracks that are currently not in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is a really good reason why we need a second Booster Course Pass after Wave 6. Because in Mario Kart Tour, you can't just race on any track if you feel like it, you have to wait and see if the current tour has that specific track and it's different every two weeks. But with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, you can race on your favourite track as many times as you want. So having an additional 48 tracks is definitely possible. This means we will get tracks such as Airship Fortress. There are 15 unique characters in Mario Kart overall that are currently not in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and only two character slots left. However, we only got one new character, being Birdo during the release of Wave 4, and three new characters in Wave 5, being Petey Piranha, Wiggler, and Kamek. So we still have Wave 6 left, plus two character slots, which will possibly be Diddy Kong and Funky Kong, so that means there will be 13 leftover characters, which is why we need a second booster course pass. This is an honourable mention, but I think we should have one to two battle stages for each wave of the booster course pass because there are currently five of them in Mario Kart Tour. I know it might not be guaranteed because a lot of work will be required such as implementing the Renegade Roundup locations. However, Cookie Land in Mario Kart Tour has 12 starting locations, so anything's possible. Another thing to point out is that the red circle that says 48 courses also says Wave 1 to 6 above, assuming that we are possibly going to get Wave 7 to 12 in the future. There is a lot of evidence supporting a second booster course pass, and with all of the tracks in Mario Kart Tour, I see this as a massive opportunity. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe, and comment down below on what tracks you think will be in the second booster course pass.